Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Pillars of Eternity. Alright, we are still here in the Veilwood. And I think we're going to start heading south and go down toward the Gilded Vale. There is still some areas we have not been in. For example, we have this cave up here with some bears, which we have not been in yet. And over here there's a bunch of bandits, and down here there's a bunch of wolves. But I think we're going to play it safe. As I am playing on hard difficulty, and I only have a rogue, and I think it's better to be safe here, because I'll probably get my shit pushed in and get my ass beat if I take them guys on. So, I'm going to hopefully see if we can find some companions or something like that, and then come back up here and take these guys on. So, well, let's go south toward the Gilded Vale. And we got a journal update. Let's see what we got this time. I finally reached Gilded Vale. It's not quite what I was expecting. Oh really, let's take a look at the map. Alright, wow this place is pretty big. Here's Edir, Aloth, Blackhound Inn, Ulfra's House, Ingrid's House, The Windmill, Blackhammer Smithery, the road east, the road south, the road west, alright. Well, let's continue the only way we can go, I guess, this way. The hell? The hell's this? What the hell? It's the hanging tree. We got some people coming. You up here. must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Let's see here. Okay. Let's try. Let's try this clever one here. I feel at home already. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? Uh, no. Are you absolutely certain? Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Hmm. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with a Beowick. Is there someone in town who could help? Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider hmm. yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. Well, supposedly the body hanging from the tree was our animancer that could possibly help us. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Hmm. Some troll piss, please. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gilded Vale understands our rules. You said something about Hollowborn and Wadewin's legacy before? I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge upon the Deerwood for almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Pitiful, dumb things that breathe, barely. 
but do not truly live. Some say the hollowborn are a disease. Some say they are a punishment from the gods. In truth, no one knows, but they began spreading after the Saints' War, and so the name Wadewin's legacy stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender. I see. Lord Redrick's decrees may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at heart. Goodbye. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. What do you mean? You come to us at a time of mourning. A legacy has struck at the heart of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Barath must be redoubled. What happened? I will know more details when the messengers arrive. The vagaries of childbirth, perhaps. But that is not your concern. Does this affect the Lord's offer to new settlers? I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest. The inn, or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Farewell. Alright. Seek help for your condition. The magistrate advised me to get some rest while I wait for permanent accommodations. That may be the best thing to put an end to this illness as well. Alright. Alright, let's take a look around here. Let's see, does he say anything else? I'm afraid I still can't help find you residents here. Lord Radric's son was deemed a hollowborn. This makes circumstances even more fraught than before. Why has Gilded Vale's population been shrinking? Waden's legacy, of course. Many women have had difficulty bearing healthy children of late. A few years ago, Lord Radric decreed that no mothers of Hollowborn are to be allowed in Gilded Vale. His lordship dealt swiftly with the objectors. It may be harsh, but if it purges us of this curse, it is not worth it. Tell me of those ruins behind the tree. That's what's left of the Temple of Aethus. Lord Radric forbade worship of the dead god after the Saints' War. It's been abandoned for almost 15 years, but there are plans to rededicate it to Barath, the god of life and death. Goodbye. Okay. Who's this guy? A deer. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Looking for anyone who can help me feel better. My condolences. <laughs> he exhales and turns his attention away, watching the village around him. Alright. Keeping an eye out. Right, let's go search around through here. What is this? Scattered between the roots are bracelets of twine and bead. Wilting flowers and notes half erased by the rains. Hmm. Well, there's something on the wall over there. Looks like we have to go all the way around here. What's that? Some blood moss. Alright, these are the ruins he was just talking about. Hmm. So apparently they like hanging people around here. And we have some villages. 
Some villagers. It's over here. A guard or something. Well, what's that? You got a hidden stash here. There's something ahead. What do we have here? Potion of spirit shield and a scroll of restore minor endurance. A couple gems and some money. All right, we'll grab that. Beneath the vines are crude carvings of a sun rising over three stars. Gwill. As you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of the man's soul. Okay, yeah, these are some of the, uh, some of the little backstories with some of the backers, I think. All these gold-named characters right here. Alright, let's keep looking around, I guess. Let's go back into, an eye out. into stealth mode, see if there's anything else hidden around here in these ruins. There's some plants right there. Alright, let's take a look at a map. Aloft, let's go take a look at that. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. The raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over around, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Hmm. Everyone calm down. Whatever this is about, I'm sure it's an overreaction. One of the other men glares at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. We are humble folk, but we are no fools. Not like he thinks. Mocking us while he shelters in our village. We don't take to that kind of talk from foreigners, especially not Adirans. The woman looks you up and down. And that means you too. Don't push us. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fi, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! <laughs> I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say <laughs> whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's try this a diplomatic one here. This is unnecessary. Wouldn't you rather be inside drinking than out here arguing? We don't take orders from any blazing adherents. We don't take charity neither. They squint at you through red, bleary eyes. It sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Oh. Looks like we're gonna get into a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for some crippling strike. Oh, looks like he's moving away. Let's go ahead and cancel that order. Let's go for this guy that's coming at us. Damn! Okay. Looks like we chewed him up pretty quickly. Let's go for this guy next, then. Alright, he went down. And that guy went down. Okay, that was a quick fight. As the last of the attackers falls, the elf turns to you. The tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Alright, I'm glad I could help. He gives you a quick smile. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts, as is the company of a fellow countryman. He straightens his hood, and he note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath it is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvisor, at your service. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, 
part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. I should get going. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. So do I. Let's go. Excellent. I shall follow you. All right. So we just picked up a companion. Just in time. That's what we need, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and loot all these bodies laying around here. So it looks like we have some clubs, daggers, some clothing, and looks like we have some money. Let's grab all that. So we have Aloth. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Aloth, second level wood elf wizard with a gentry background. He's got a might of 12. Constitution of 10, Dexterity 15, Perception of 12, Intellect of 16, which gives him a plus 36 area of effect, plus 30% duration, nice will, and Resolve of 13. And it looks like he might have some magical leather armor, Alos leather armor, giving him an increase in area of effect. And it looks like he has a distance advantage, which gives him a plus 5 accuracy deflection and a reflex bonus against distance enemies nice he's got a really nice lore with a seven and a little bit in mechanics he's got arcane assault which gives him let's see it's some kind of ability that you can use twice per encounter it's got an area of effect of almost two meters nice raw damage ability does dazing effect Hmm, that's actually a very nice ability right there. And I'm going to assume these are a bunch of spells that he's got. He's got Archimere's Dazzling Lights. It's a full area of effect, minus 10 will, and it does dazing. Distant Advantage. Fan of Flames, Cone Effect, 120 degrees. Damn. 42 to 58 burn damage. Very nice. Kalakoth Sunless Grasp. 19 to 28 freeze damage. And it does a minus 10 accuracy penalty too. Nice. Minoletta's Minor Missiles. Fires 3 projectiles. Range of 15 meters. 11 to 19 crush damage. Nice. And Wizard's Double, plus 20 deflection until damaged. Nice. And he's got a Blast Talent. What does this do? Passive Ability, Area of Effect, Foe Target. 6 to 10 Crush Damage. And it bypasses Damage Resistance, 5. Hmm. Alright, he's got a really low defense. Damage Reduction, 6. Alright, let's take a look at his gear. So he's got a scepter. Does crushing and slashing damage. Yeah, here's his leather armor. Gives him the uh, increased area of effect. He's got a hood, which does nothing. And he's got a cape, which does nothing. And here's his grimoire. This is all his spells, apparently. Apparently he's got five spells, but he can only use four of them at a time. Okay, so let's give him some of these items. We have this scroll here. Let's give him that since he's got the higher lore. And we have this potion that we picked up. Plus three damage reduction, plus 30 concentration. You know what? Let's give him that. Let's put that in his quick item slot. And let's start moving some of this. Let's see, he's also got a rapier. But, you know what, we're going to ditch that. 
Let's see, did we have a bow? You know what, let's pull out that crossbow. We can probably give him that crossbow, I think. That way he's got a missile weapon. Let's ditch some of this gear. Actually, you know what? We should probably try to find a place to sell some of this stuff. We're starting to pile up a lot of junk. Let's see, where was that? There was a... Yeah, the smithery. You know what? Let's probably head over there next. But before we do that, let's take a quick walk. What is all this stuff over here? What does this say? The Black Hound Inn. There's the inn right here. The windows are clouded with haze and accumulated smoke and cooking grease. Well, there's a plant right here. Let's pick that up. Pilgrim's Crown. Alright, we're all the way down here in the south. While we're here, let's take a look at this transition. Can we go anywhere new? Nope. Alright, let's go back to stealth mode just in case there's anything hidden around here. Who are these guys? Just some villagers. Anything down here? Not see anything here. Alright, that's the ruins of the temple. Alright, is this the smithy here? Okay, yep, that's it right there. Black Hammer Smithery. Yep, let's go in here next. Alright, now the smithy. Take a look at this place. Oh, we got some containers. Oh, it looks like... I'll take care of it. Looks like we can thieve this place. Well, hmm. of course. How may I help? Looks like they can see us, though. What is it? Can we get into them without them seeing us? Yep, for now we can, at least. Well, we can grab that stuff. What the hell did we just pick up? We got us some ale. Plus two damage reduction. What the hell is this? Some rice. Plus five max endurance. And another chisel and a hammer. Wow, look at how fast our our meter is going up. Let's see, what do we got? Scale armor and duelist hat. Can we grab that? Okay. Wow, that went red quick. Maybe we have to wait for these guys to move away farther. What is this? Dented and dull, these swords look ready for the forge. Is this a guard? Oh, he's moving away. Can we get over here now? Damn. What do we gotta do? Wait for that to clear off? Oh, there's more stuff over here, too. Hmm. Okay, let's come over here. What is this? An account of Tautanu's sales. The pages are nearly empty. Okay, that's Tautanu. What's this over here? The bellows sigh into the furnace, and the coals burn to brighter still. Let's see what we got up here on the shelf. Okay, our meter is clearing off. Let's wait for it to get yellow. Can we heist it? And we have us a book, Daily Affirmations of Focus and Efficiency. Okay. Let's do the heist! So far, so good. Damn. Back in the red again. Must be this guard here. He's watching us closely. I want to get in this box right here, though. This guy's watching us pretty close, too. Let's see if we can wait for this to clear off and we can get into that box. Alright, we're back in the yellow. Wait for that guy to move. Let's see. Yep, it's starting to go back in the yellow again. Okay, he's moving. Let's see, can we get up here? 
Let's go for the heist. Ooh, what do we got here? A wand. Let's get it. Alright, anything else? Nope, I think we got everything. Alright, let's see. These are backer guys right there. That's a guard, that's a commoner, apprentice. Let's talk to this guy. This man is of impressive build, towering above the countertop. His skin is the dusky blue of the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscle. Small ears frame a square-jawed face coated in smeared soot and arcing black tattoos alike. He offers you a broad smile as you approach. Welcome. You're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? Is this your shop? That it is. Been here for nearly twenty years now. Seen all manner of things over the years. Good luck and bad. Tautanu glances at the guard standing watch along the wall. But the black hammer smithery remains. What do you have here? You come to us at a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's not what it used to be. But we have fine weapons and armor to offer yet. All forged right here at the Black Hammer. What happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now. And haven't seen a sign of it. Have to expect they've been hit by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with a wagon themselves, maybe make some coin. As if that lot would dare. He's right about the bandits. The dire situations in the villages like this and the exodus to the cities has created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. Tautanu scratches his jaw, thinking, if you happen to be headed that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for a supply wagon, or my shipment at least. It'd be cutting through the black meadow, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of our weapons go to His Grace, Lord Raedric. Tautanu glances at the nearby guard. And that's as it should be. But it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We just don't have the iron. Hmm. I'll, s I'll see them back safe and sound. I'd appreciate your trying, anyhow. You bring back the supplies at least, and I'll have much more to offer you. A discount to start. And if you do find my workers, you give them a good smack upside the head for me. <laughs> Alright, so we got a new quest there. Hello. Right, let's see, I'd like to see your wares, please. Of course. Alright, oh, he does have some camping supplies. Wow, he's got some expensive stuff, though. Jenna's Lance. Yeah, he's got some nice magic stuff here. But it is out of our league. What else does he have? He's got some magic shields, some armor. He's got some magic rings. Looks like he's got a belt, some cape. A rope and a grappling hook. Hmm, and a pry bar. Oh, that's some interesting stuff we can afford, too. I bet that might come in handy somewhere. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and buy that stuff actually. All right, let's see. Let's open up our stash box. Let's get rid of some of this garbage. Let's see. Let's get rid of some of this stuff that we have duplicates of. I'm gonna keep some of the some of the weapons though, because we might need it later. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's keep that pistol, the mace, some of these shields we can keep. I think we got enough bows though. Let's keep one of these rapiers. We don't need any more daggers. Let's keep the sword. Let's keep that. Let's keep a club. And the quarterstaff we can keep too. Might come in useful later on. Alright, all the leather armors I think we can get rid of. And the clothes. And hide armors we can get rid of too. I think we can get rid of the helms. And let's get rid of the torch. And wolf hides, I guess we can get rid of them. And we're going to keep all the crafting supplies. 
Alright, what else did we have? Let's keep that scale. Let's get rid of that hat. What was this book? Some kind of... I don't know if that's a lore book or what. We'll keep that anyways. And I guess we'll keep the rest of that. Okay, let's go for a trade. So, that leaves us with 648 coins. Nothing else we really need. I think that'll be alright for now. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we're back outside. And we're running up on time. So I think we'll go ahead and do a quick save here.